Tawar. Once you get to the entrance of the base, I'm gonna need you to quickly take out all the guards and grab what we came for. Understood? Understood. Initiating the mission. Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, BakiriBox12 here, and welcome back to another- Hey! Oh my god, what do you want now? I just wanted to say that I don't think you're funny, and your videos are dumb. You see all those dislikes? Yeah, those are me. Yeah, I'm, I don't like anything- Hey, wait, 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 hey, hey, hang on, hang on. Come here a sec. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard me. Come on, I want to tell you a secret. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if I should. No, no, please, I insist. I mean, I'm not really that good at making decisions on my own. No, come on, man, don't be shy. It's just for a second, come on. Alright, maybe just for a second. A little closer. A right. little closer. That was a little weird. Ah! Ugh. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about cloaks. That's it. More specifically, the cloak of ghostly concealment versus the cloak of the plane walker. Oh yeah, and there was some other third one there. I don't. Know. However, before I start, I need to give you guys some statistics. Statistic, some stist, some stat info on cloaks in general. The cloak is the ability used by the rogue, allowing the player to temporarily go invisible at a certain mana cost. Now what's interesting is that the scaling of these items from tier 0 to tier 6 isn't that grand. At tier 0, the mana cost is only 60, but all the way up at tier 6, it's still only 85. What's also interesting is that the duration doesn't increase by much either. 3 seconds for tier 0, and all the way up at tier 6, we have 5.5. So the scaling isn't nearly as important as, say, a shield, or a quiver where the ability actually changes. So next time that wine cellar portal opens, you say, nah, I'm good. I got my cloak of speed. A common thing that I used to see was the cloak of the red agent getting play. Since it only had slightly lower mana cost and a slightly lower duration, some people might think that they're getting more bang for their buck. What, no one says that anymore? <laughs> Whatever. Ghostly Concealment is definitely the most well-rounded cloak. You get 5.5 seconds of invisibility at 85 mana, plus 4 dex, 5 speed, 2 vit, and 2 wisdom. You get 4 bonus stats. And in case you guys didn't already know, the rogue maxes at 75 speed and 75 dex, and those are exactly the two stats that we're getting bonuses on. This means if you wear this on a maxed rogue, he will have 80 speed, not including the possible ring buff that you'll have. This is why people consider the rogue to be the king of rushing, because not only can he go invisible to avoid projectiles, he's also incredibly fast. Look at this guy go. So yeah, that's ghostly concealment in a nutshell. It's pretty neat. But what does the newcomer have? Well, it's actually not really a newcomer, considering the Sprite World's one of the oldest dungeons, but... What does the UT counterpart have for us? Well, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. We still have 5.5 seconds of invisibility, and we get 4 dex and 5 speed. But there is one difference between these two things, and it makes a world of difference. Teleportation. Instead of just having the row go invisible, you teleport to the location where your cursor was pointing last. Exactly like the prism, and you guys know how much I gushed over him, so you better, you better believe, uh, you know, I gotta leave the room, I gotta Teleportation go. adds such depth to gameplay. It's an approach, it's an escape, and it's just a way of getting around. It adds so much deeper thinking to the game, whether or not you take advantage of it or not. It's still there, it gives you options. Unfortunately, unlike the Trickster, here, Planewalker costs 100 mana to use. Ouch! Well, if you want to look at it objectively, 100 mana is only 15 more than the 85 we were originally paying. So it's not that much, but it does add up. Let's take a look at the Rogue's average mana upon level 20. 195. We can only get one plane walker off. Granted, our wisdom will probably kick in and let us get a second one off, but right off the bat for concealment, we can get two, and probably a third if we wait not too much long. That doesn't make sense, what? And probably a third if we wait a little bit. And if you max your mana at 252, you can get three concealments off, but only two plane walkers. And probably a fourth concealment if you wait just a little bit. So you really gotta weigh it out. Plane walker's great, because you get a teleportation. That's amazing but it comes with a cost. And so, it's at this point in the video whenever I have to say, it's preference. It's completely preference. Do you want to live on the edge and have the plane walker and teleport around like some crazy madman trickster imitation? Or do you just want to run around and say, hey, I'm invisible, and that's all you need to be happy? That sounds like a lot of fun. So to answer the question at hand, concealment or plane walker, 
I honestly got to go with concealment. I just feel like there's a little bit more freedom with concealment. You can do what you want and not have to worry about running out of mana because you'd be like, oh, if I wasn't using Planewalker, I would have so much more mana left over. Here, there's no excuse. Like, you're, you're out of mana, it's because you suck. Don't blame the item. You don't get to do that. Free, who are you? Also, with Planewalker, you have to teleport somewhere. What if you just want to run? What if you don't want to teleport? What if you're not in a good position to do so? You don't have the freedom for that. You are restricted to use the ability. It's great to have all these things. But whenever I'm forced into doing something, it's not so great all the time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for... What? Oh, right, the drape. I almost forgot about you. So, yeah, there's this thing called the ghostly cape. I'm sorry, that says ghastly drape, yes. Uh, it's also one of the pieces to the re set. Schooled, too. Yeah, that's it. What can I say about this item? Well, it kind of looks like half an Octorok from Zelda on NES. What, is that just me? Yeah, whatever. This drape still gives us 5.5 seconds of invisibility, so nothing's changed there. But some genius in Kabam decided to give it a cooldown of 6.5 seconds, yeah, thanks. But instead of giving us teleportation or just leaving it be, no, no. We get a self buff of speedy for two seconds. Alright, that's... I'll admit, that's pretty good. I mean, the rogue is already really good for rushing, so more speed, heck. I mean, this makes the rogue an even better rusher, right? Yes. I mean, if you don't mind paying 110 mana. Oh. Oh. Oh, I feel it. 100 mana was okay. It was kind of pushing it, but 110. All I can say is you better be putting on that Harlequin armor. You're going to need the mana. All right, I'm over-exaggerating a little bit. 110 mana isn't the end of the world. It's pretty darn close, but you can still get by with it. And the speedy is nice. It does help. It does make rushing a little bit better. And I would even say it's better than teleportation only because... Teleportation is restricted to where you can point your cursor on the screen. Speedy, you can go anywhere you want that you can in two seconds. There's no restriction. It's just a time limit. Your cursor literally can't go any further than the side of the screen. It, come on! So is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's a cool item. It's good. It's, it's not bad, certainly, but you just gotta have the proper build for it. It's all about customization of your character. If you somehow get this and you're not a very fortunate player and you don't have items that accommodate it, well, I would recommend putting it in the vault or selling it. But if you do have Harlequin armor, maybe a Nile, heck, even a Sphinx, or a Twilight Gemstone, oh, oh. So I think overall the tagline of this video is going to be, if you have the mana. I think that summarizes it perfectly. If you have the mana to use Planewalker, go for it. If you don't, use Concealment. If you have even more mana to spare, and you feel like you're going to be doing a lot of rushing, put on the drape. Let it work out for you. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I think about the cloaks. I know that a few of you have requested for me to do a rogue guide, and believe me, I have thought about it, but uh, to be honest, I'm not exactly savvy whenever it comes to the rogue, and I felt like maybe doing cloaks would be the next best thing, so hopefully I can do this in the future. But knowing me, it'll probably take a few months. Who said that? But in all seriousness, thank you guys so much for watching. I tried to put a lot more effort into this one since I was on spring break. Post in the comments if you liked what you saw, and for something that you would like to see in the future, and I will try and get on that as fast as I can. But until then, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to check out the next episode of whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. All right. See ya.